Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. This is episode 616, and I'm actually squeezing this in before the next episode. Uh, the next one that's coming out, 617, I actually recorded like three weeks ago. It's one of the last videos I recorded during my last uh, health incident and uh, and everything that happened during that week. And it's just been hard editing things that I don't remember filming, so I, I'm sorry it took so long to get through that stuff. So that'll go up in the next one. That'll be more Cam Frazier donations for King and Black, and that'll be the next episode. But for episode 616, I wanted to do something, you know, uh, a little different. Uh, you know, it's a big number for the Marvel Universe. Uh, the main Marvel Universe is kind of coined as being the 616 Universe. And so I just wanted to do something fun and kind of news related and uh, Carnage related uh, specifically. So in this one, we're going to talk about two things uh, that are coming out, some products that are coming out uh, featuring Carnage. There will also be a, a slight giveaway in this one. We'll give out a digital code, just one. Uh, we'll give out a digital code for a Carnage comic that just came out in shops recently as well called uh, Black, White and red so i have issue number one so keep watching and the digital code will go up at a point in this episode and the first person to put that code in gets the digital comic book so enjoy whoever wins that one uh, but we're going to talk about real quick the carnage lego set people wanted me to talk about that a while ago and i know you know i used to work for lego i don't like talking about leaks i don't like talking about rumors and things like that i know what it's like to spend a lot of money and time and you know to prepare for an official like release like you you talk to different uh you know um outlets and stuff like that for news and things like that and you reach out to different toy groups and you go okay on this day around this time we're going to reveal something you know uh, be ready uh, we'll send you a press release the day before or something like i used to work with that kind of stuff in comic books but i also know how it works over at lego where they're trying to get their maximum amount of uh, promotion you know and exposure for this stuff and so they try to plan things and then so when leaks happen it sucks because then a bunch of people who are just trying to get clicks and clout and stuff, they'll spread that stuff around and they'll ruin all that money and time and effort that is going into the actual promoting of the, the product and, and it gets kind of taken away. And a lot of people who work really hard on planning things and working things out, all their hard work is for nothing now because a couple of you know Reddit users and bloggers and things kind of revealed stuff. So that's why I don't like dealing with leaks and everything because I used to be one of those people in comics sometimes that if things leaked out, it would kind of make my job a lot harder and make all this hard work that I spent you know weeks working on for nothing. And it's really frustrating. It really is. So uh, so I waited. I wanted to wait till this got officially announced. And so now it has been officially announced. So I'll put a link down below to the Brick Fan uh, website where I'm. Um, you know, getting this information from now, uh, which this was, uh, they originally posted this article, I think on the 11th of March. So it's been almost a month now since this news came out, but we forgot to talk about it live when we did our last live stream. So I want to talk about it here since it tied into the carnage episode I want to do today. So, uh, so yeah, we have this awesome Lego helmet set that's coming out. And there's been, of course, rumors that there are other characters related to Carnage that might get their own Lego sets, but again, I'm not going to talk on rumors. I want to wait to see what's officially announced, or I'll wait till it's officially announced before I talk about it. Um, but yeah, this Carnage head looks pretty neat. I mean, I don't know. It, it's, it looks okay. I don't collect any of these, but when I was working at Lego during the holidays, I remember they had like a Stormtrooper one and a, and a Darth Vader one and a Boba Fett one, and I think for Marvel, they had like an Iron Man one. So these are neat, but they're, they're kind of small. They're like maybe like this big-ish, like somewhere around there, like five, six inches, something like that. Uh, from the base to the top of the head. Uh, but uh, yeah, and because this is only 546 pieces, it's set number 76199, and it's for 18 plus. And that's because a lot of the pieces are small pieces, uh, so they just kind of recommend that. And again, for people who don't know, 18 plus doesn't mean a skill set. It's not saying like, hey, uh, you know, you have to be 18 to build this. 10 or 12 year old kids could probably build this thing. What that means when it says 18 plus or 10 plus or whatever for Lego means patience level typically it's like hey the, the average patience of an 18 year old can do this no problem but a 10 year old or 12 year old might have that level of patience so whenever you know sometimes parents will come into the store and they'll be like hey you know uh, i want something oh that looks too hard it says 14 plus and i'm like well does your kid build a lot of lego and they say yes my kid builds a ton of lego and i go okay well then if they're 10 years old and they've been building lego for three four years and they're really good at it and they build big sets then 14 plus probably isn't going to be that much of a challenge for them. It'll just take them a little longer to do, but chances are they'll be able to do it if they build Legos, you know, a Lego on, you know, often. So, uh, so yeah, so that, so anyone out there worried about the rating, it's not, be, you know, it's not because it's like an R rated character or anything like that, you know, which it isn't, you know, like we always talk about Carnage is not an R rated character. Carnage is a PG 13 character at his core, at his heart. 
98% of his existence has been in PG-13 or rated under, uh, you know, even uh, as to TV-7 when the original Spider-Man cartoon came out. So Carnage is not a hardcore R-rated character. A lot of people think he is, but he's not. So when they were like, oh my God, I can't believe Lego's doing Carnage and making ahead of him. It's like, but they've made many figures of Carnage before, you know. So yeah, he's a serial killer and that's tough. You're like, wow, Lego's making a, a you know, a mold of a serial killer. But um, considering you don't see every single gruesome death he's ever committed, that's probably the wiggle room. Plus, Lego can legify any character and make them more appropriate for younger audiences. So, so, but I still think it's cool that they're doing this. Uh, you know, it's some kind of promotion for the new movie, although I don't think this is going to be the look of Carnage in the new movie. Of course, Carnage in the movie will probably be red and black, obviously. Um, but I don't think this is specifically designed off of that, you know, because because uh, that's where I think Lego people don't understand with Lego. Sometimes they'll, they'll pick a PG-13 property, um, you know, to make their Lego products off of, but they won't do the exact designs. They're, they're going to still do a Lego-fied version of it uh, and kind of do their own thing to an, an extent. But I still like this. I like that the gums and around the mouth are black and the teeth are black and inside looks pink, like pretty cool. Um, I think it looks cool. It looks neat. Uh, I don't know if I'll buy one, uh, but it, it does look very, very cool. It's going to retail for $59.99. So for those out there who are interested, you know, pick this up when it comes out. It comes out April 11th, uh, so very, very soon. I think worldwide it'll be April 11th because Le uh, typically LEGO releases things at the same time everywhere, typically. Maybe not always, but they try at least. So yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, the other bit of news we got from uh, Carnage that is Carnage related actually came out today. But before we get into it, I do want to give out this digital code for Carnage Black, White, and Blood. I'm sorry, I think I, I, I said the wrong title earlier. Uh, Black, White, and Blood. Uh, that is a new comic, issue number one. I'll put the digital code, boom, right there. Check that out. First person to put that code in gets the digital code for Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. And for those of you uh, who want to know what my thoughts are on this book, I will talk about that when issue two comes out. And we will kind of discuss issues one and two together. And in that episode, I'll give out the digital code for issue two. So, uh, so be on the lookout for that next month in uh, May when issue two of this comes out. I will talk about it then and we'll give out the second digital code at that time. So, uh, so yeah, whoever wins the code out there, let me know in the comments down below and uh, enjoy the book. I hope you really like it. Uh, so now the other piece of news we got is from Marvel's website themselves. So I'll put a link to this down below. This came out today, March 30th, and it is for a, a book coming out this summer called Extreme Carnage which will be dropping in stores in July, written by Philip Kennedy Johnson, who has been popping up a lot lately. He's uh, definitely writing a lot of comic books. I think maybe doing some stuff at DC and Marvel. I think is doing the new Alien book as well at Marvel, I believe. So uh, yeah, I've definitely been seeing Philip's name popping up a lot of places. So uh, so now Philip is going to, you know, uh, get their books reviewed or his book reviewed by me uh, <laughs> this summer when this book comes out. Uh, so the tagline or the, the information here, it says... Phage, Scream, Lasher, Riot, Agony. This July, the five Life, Found, uh, five Life Foundation symbiotes will face their greatest challenge yet, courtesy of their big bad older brother, Carnage. Um, it'll kick off, this saga will kick off with Extreme Carnage Alpha number one. And there's the artwork for it uh, by Lionel Francis Yu and Sonny Cho, I think, is the art, uh, colorist or someone on it, or Sonny Go, uh, G-H-O. And uh, you'll see the screen on there. And it says there's actually a classified image uh, so there's a character that we can't see what they look like. And there are some people speculating that it's probably going to be Venom uh, because Venom might have a new look. And then there's other people saying that it could be like Sleeper. It could be other characters. But you can see Toxin in the background there on the cover. You got Scream, Lasher, uh, Riot, uh, Phage, and, and Agony, obviously. But yeah, we got the end. We got Carnage, Big Bad Carnage in the back. But we got that classified image there. So that's pretty cool. So the actual um, blurb for it, is after King and Black, everything we thought we knew about the symbiotes will have changed. Every man, woman, and child in the Marvel Universe will finally understand the massive threat that the symbiotes represent. And the symbiotes that are still among us are now in the crosshairs of some extremely angry, uh, scared, and powerful forces, Johnson explained. In the pages of Extreme Carnage, we'll not only explain what Carnage is in this new post-King of Black, or King and Black era, but also see a return to form for the deadliest symbiotes that have ever lived while putting them on a lethal new path for the future. 
Um, so there's a lot more carnage to come, they said. Don't miss this explosive family reunion when it begins in July. So we still don't know who's taken over the Venom book yet after Donny Cates. We still don't know what form Venom will be after this and what everything's going to happen. Um, all we have right now for the summer is this carnage event, which is fine because it looks like it'll lead into September. So it looks like we'll have some new carnage comics to talk about from July to September, which is nice because July was when the original movie was supposed to come out again, and then they pushed it back to September. So if we have this series going between July and September, it'll be a nice thing that we can talk about monthly that's Carnage related that'll lead us up to the movie. And then by then we'll probably have trailers and other things that will be popping up as well. So, uh, so this is neat. I just thought this was cool. I love that they're bringing the Life Foundation symbiotes back. They're splitting them up again, so they're not going to be hybrid or combined. There's also the inclusion of Toxin. I hope we see Sleeper as well, uh, because you know, obviously Sleeper is a newer offspring of Venom. So I hope Sleeper has a role in the story to play. And I'm curious if Venom will be involved. I would actually Venom like Venom not to be involved in this. I would uh, if whoever that classified character is. Uh, I'd love that to be something different, like someone new or, or someone else. Um, you know, it, it probably will be Venom, but I'm just saying, like, for me, I wouldn't mind a small break uh, from Venom. But obviously, I mean, at the same time, if this is kind of as a preemptive for the movie coming out, Venom will probably show up because the final battle might come down to Venom and Carnage and stuff just to have that, you know, book out while the movie's coming out. I think it'd be smart marketing to do something like that, but... Um, but I don't know what story uh, Philip is trying to tell here. So I'm interested to see it. So I want to hear what you guys think. What do you think of the Lego set? And what do you think of Extreme Carnage coming this summer? Uh, I'm very pumped for that. I think this is going to be an exciting summer for Carnage stuff. And I'm so glad that, um, you know, that we're still doing this show. Like I know some people with my health stuff and everything, there's a lot going on. A lot of stuff I haven't openly shared and, and stuff like that. But Please know that I'm still doing my best. I'm still trying to get videos out to you guys. And I have no plans to cancel this show uh, anytime soon. I want to at least keep talking about the comic books and try to wrap up King and Black, uh, the, the Spider-Man alien costume saga, um, and a couple other things. I want to wrap all that stuff up you know, before the end of this year and before this movie comes out, hopefully, but definitely by the end of the year. And what I might do is once we hit episode 750 and wrap up this season of Venom Vlog, my goal is then after that, season six, we will do far less episodes per season. And we will only talk about things that are movie related and not really discuss the comics until if there are new comics, like whatever the new Venom is after Donny Cates and whatever story this, if this is starting a new Carnage series, all those things we will discuss in season six. But uh, I'll just wait till they're done, completely done before I discuss them. So that way I'm not talking about brand new things all the time um, so I can keep up with it easier that way uh, because things probably will get tougher for me in some regards moving forward um, but I will have another show that we will have starting on here very soon probably tomorrow at the day after I record this hopefully I'll get them all edited in time um, but hopefully that'll go up tomorrow and you'll see there will be another character that's kind of similar in some ways to Venom to me uh, from from a different universe though and it's someone I wanted to talk about for a while and I think this will be a great time to start a show on them. So from now on, you'll just get on Tuesdays of one Venom vlog episode, maybe sometimes two. If I'm falling way behind, I'll try to get two in there. Uh, then on Wednesdays, you'll get this new show that I'm gonna do. And then on Thursdays, I'll do my live show with Alex. And that'll pretty much be all we do uh, for this channel for a while, um, at least until I can get a schedule down and start figuring things out. And those those days I just gave you, they may change too because my work schedule might change. Uh, you know, my real life job uh, may change a little bit too. So I may go from, I may do Venom vlogs on Monday and then the new show on Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then Thursday do the show with Alex. So that might be the new schedule moving forward too. So you'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll try to figure it all out um, and I'll, you know, get back to you guys uh, as soon as possible. So, uh, so thank you all for being so patient with me for, for, you know, supporting me and, and all that stuff and the new subscribers that we got. Thank you all so much. I, I will continue to make content the best I can and I'll get out to you the fastest I can. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.